In this video, we'll go through a few ways doodling can make your notebooks really fun and interesting to look at. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so for this design, all you will need is a pencil, eraser, either a pen or a marker. Using your pencil, we're going to make a simple flower design starting at the bottom corner, first a half circle, then adding a few daisy petals. I recommend first drawing lightly with pencil so that if you make any mistakes, it's easy to fix. You want to fill your flower in with triangles, swirls, lines, checkerboards, dots. Really, it's doodling. You can do absolutely anything. My advice is that you sketch the entire design first before using the marker. Um, for myself, to make the video go quicker, I dove into it. Which now I kind of regret because there are some patterns that I'm not crazy about, but it turned out okay. After you completed your flower, you can begin adding more to the page. I did swirls, but you can add more petals or leaves if you want to. You can go back and thicken some, not all, but some of the lines that you already drew and they'll make your design bolder. Permanent markers work well on any surface, so whether you have a duotang like me or a notebook with a plastic cover or a recycled cover, it'll work fine. And you're finished! On to the next black and white design. You will need a pencil, eraser, black marker, whiteout pen, bind it up using paint, a compass, and it's an option to just use a white pencil crayon entirely. I traded in my pencil for the white one, but if you don't have a white pencil, you can still use what you have. You'll still be able to see it just fine. If you don't have a compass or don't know how to use it, you can trade in this part by using a cup or bowl and tracing it. These lines are your guide to making mandala art. In between those lines, you can begin adding swirls, lines, half circles, it's like the first one, you can do anything you want. I wanted mine to look like flowers, so I did a lot of half circles, triangles, and petals. If you do use paint, you have to slightly water it down to make it smooth or else it'll be clumpy and not that nice. You'll also have to put two coats. If you made a mistake and you have a plastic cover notebook like mine, you can use water and a napkin to wipe it off before it's dry. Um, if it's already dry, use rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to get it off. If you don't have a plastic cover and you made a mistake, use the black marker to cover it up. You can go over your white paint or white out or white pencil crayon with a different color pencil crayon um, just to make your design pop that much more. And see, if you make a mistake or you want to clean it up, just use the black marker to do that and voila! If you're using whiteout, as a warning, it takes a long time to dry, so be careful. On to the last design. You will need a pencil, eraser, pencil crayons, pen or marker, and if you have color pens, you're one step ahead of the game. First, peel off any stickers or labels on your notebook or sketchbook. Since this is a farm theme, I'm drawing different types of crops like corn, wheat, leaves, blueberries. Remember, it's good to lightly draw in pencil first so you won't have any regrets later. In the video, I'm switching between black pen and marker just to show you that there isn't much difference in the way it turns out. Same with the pencil crayons and colored pens. You can get nice results using either or. If you want to erase your pencil work after you've outlined it, let it sit for about 5 minutes because the ink might smear. I know this from experience. This 
is my owl man. If you want to have your own owl or you want to use a different kind of owl, Google and type in doodle or doodle owl and you'll find some pretty cool things that you can try doing. The pattern I'm using on the wings is the one I actually liked to use a lot when I was in high school. It's a set of three to four lines going in different ways. So I'm stopping here with my video doodling, but there are some spaces left on the cover where you can keep doodling. And when you're finished, there's always a path. You can work on these doodles before you go back to school so it's fresh and ready for everyone to see. Or you can do this during class, but don't blame me if you get in trouble. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Bye.